this is the rear brake drum driver's side it's a Dana 70 they used them forever Ford used them Chevy used them they got different brakes on them and different purchase for the springs and stuff but the basic Dana 70 is the same for a long time got to pull the axle out to get the drum off battery ran dead on my impact that one turned the stud out somebody's put a lot of silicone on these it's probably really not necessary I wasn't really hitting on that very hard. These washers are stuck on there with silicone. Again, I don't know if you really need to do that or not. This should seal around that inner surface right there. I don't think the studs ought to be leaking all that much. Could be wrong. Somebody obviously knows more about it than me. That nut is holding the bearings and that brake drum on the end of the axle. The bearings are lubricated by the 90 weight that's over inside the middle there in the diff itself. And it's got, I don't know if you can see, it's got these this star washer in there that's slotted on that slot right there and then it's bent over in here. These are kind of hard to get out because there's not a lot of room between here and here so I'll ch I'll chisel that out and get that off if I can and then I've got a new nut for it that's a nylock with a wedge that goes in here instead make a thin wall to a 9 16th socket that'll fit in there I don't have one for that size but the other kind of nut has rounded corners and I've got the socket for the other for the newer kind of newer style of nut so I'll chisel this one off Some of these are round and they have holes in them. And once you get them loose, you can stick a pin punch in there and spin them out. These old hex ones aren't quite that easy. See that inner one's in there a little bit far. That's a little hard to chisel it out without the socket. There's a lot of, it's like, feels like there might be some grease or something in there. Hope I don't end up with a mess in here after I get this hub off, this brake drum. I'm hoping to just inspect this, look at the adjuster a little bit and put this back together today, but <laughs> see how that goes. Oh 
looks like a little grease or something in there. I don't know if somebody put grease in there. Look at that. I don't think those are supposed to have grease in there. I'll have to look that up. I don't really know for 100% sure. But it looks like somebody put some grease in there. Getting this drum off so it might be a little bit hard for us old guys. Not as skinny or as flexible as we used to be. It's kind of heavy. And the wheel well's kind of in the way. Let's see if we can get it off here. There's the bearing. Well, that wasn't as hard as I thought it might be. There's a lot of grease in there. I don't know if somebody put that in there on purpose or if it's even supposed to be in there. I gotta find that out. Stinking bifocals again. This is just a bad distance for my bifocals. So the brakes themselves look fine. I was messing with this adjuster through the back the other day, so it works. I'm gonna leave that just like it is. So I'm going to find out about this grease business and these bearings and uh, then see about putting this back together.